Let's look at managing items in the point of sale for e-commerce purposes. I'm going to click on inventory from my main menu and then I'm going to click on item search. Let's find an item that we know we want to sell online. I have one t-shirt matrix as well as a backpack. Let's open up the backpack and use that as our example today. Everything that I'm listing here is also relevant for matrixes. So all the same fields for a matrix gets pulled over to the e-commerce for online sale. First thing is the description up here at the top. This is going to get pushed over as the name of your product online. This can then be changed on the e-commerce side if needed. This is the same for single products, non-inventoried products, and matrixes. Just below you can see I have a picture of the backpack as well as three others. Pictures can be managed in the point of sale or on the e-commerce side. You can have a maximum of 12 pictures per item. Over here on the right in the pricing section where you can see your pricing levels, you have an online pricing level. You can sell your item for more or less than you sell it for in the store. Over here on the right I have inventory, your stock level. Stock levels are always in sync. If you sell one online or in the store, then these quantities are reflected within a matter of seconds for your e-commerce and for your shop. Down here in the Organize section, categories are also pushed over to your e-commerce. The entire structure that you've created in your point of sale will be pushed over and can be used as the drop-down options at the top of your website to navigate to the section of products that I'd like to look at and purchase. Additionally, the category that is attached to the item that gets pushed over to the e-com is also carried over, which means there's no need to attach those categories to your products on the e-commerce side. There's nothing preventing you on the e-commerce side from creating additional categories and getting them attached to your relative items, also creating text category pages. Just below, I have the brand name, which is also carried over to your e-commerce. Brands can be made visible or can be completely hidden. Just below the organized section, I have the e-commerce section. And in this section is where we can find the check mark that when this is checked off and saved, it takes everything that I just explained and pushes it over to your e-commerce where you can manage additional details like additional content, SEO content, as well as a few additional fields. I'm going to head over to the inventory section and go to the matrixes. Let's look at the t-shirt now. It's the same thing for matrixed items. All the fields have the same names and they all get pushed over to the e-commerce as well. When you want to sell a matrixed item online, you need to check off all of the children that you want to sell online. In this case, I have a couple of products that I want to check off. So how can I get these check marks on these products done a little bit faster? Instead of opening them up one by one, getting that check mark on there and hitting save, I'm going to use quick edit items. I'm going to head over to the inventory section again. And in the third row, I have quick edit items. Let's click on that. The purpose of this section is to make changes to your products without having to open them up one by one. In my plane of view up here, I can see that I have quantity, description, price, manufacturer SKU, and publish to ecom. You have five drop-downs at the top, which means that I can add any one of these five fields of information to my plane of view below to make changes without having to open up the products. Publish to ecom has already been added. Add the fields that you'd like to see, click on search, and then go ahead and make your modifications. Over here, I can start removing or checking off products that I'd like to see on my e-commerce.